All right, so here we go. Back up at John's Peak. Back on the 2019 KTM 215XC. Riding with Neil, Tom, and Kai. This is part two of the electric versus two-stroke. It's not really a comparison video. Just kind of out, have a good time with these guys. Finding some new stuff. Um, really had a good time today. Weather was perfect. Dirt was excellent. I had plenty of rain. A little on the slick side here and there. But the granite was good. Neil and Tom uh, know this part of the peak pretty well. And uh, showing me around a bit. Like I said in the last video, uh, Neil's on an electric zero motorcycle, and Tom is on the KTM Freeride electric motorcycle. Both pretty capable machines. And, uh, I don't know whether you like electric or not, they're here to stay, so uh, I guess it is what it is, right? I'm kind of a fan of them. I think they're going to be a fun segment to the two-wheel uh, dirt bike off-road enthusiast. Uh, just kind of another, I don't know, kind of another tool in the workbench, I guess. Not that I'm interested in seeing gas bikes go away by any means. I, I love my two-strokes. I love four-strokes, for that matter. Um, I, I love everything two-wheels for the most part. Uh, I think electric's just just another part of it. I think they'll continue to get better. I think battery technology will continue to get better. And, uh, I think as you can see from the videos that I've made with these guys, they're, they're definitely capable machines. Maybe not quite at this point as, as fun uh, at speed from what I can tell. They're not going to be able to carry a lot of speed for a lot of time, um, but in the more tight technical stuff, they're more than capable for sure. I mean, on that note, I know the Alta has competed in straight rhythm and all that, that stuff. I think it would be great for a 30-minute moto on the track. So not to say that they can't run this, you know, at motocross type speeds either. Bushwhacking in here. You okay? Did he go up that hill there? Or? I don't think so. I don't know. All right. Again, kind of a slow technical day for me. Not really what I what I focus on when I'm out riding dirt bikes, but definitely a part of riding that I need to get better at. Never been a very technical rider. That being said, I think the the 252 stroke did awesome. The Tusk Creek on rear tire hooked up really well. Yeah, it just 
the bike's much more capable than I am, that's for sure. Tire just hook up all the way up through this. Yeah, if there's traction available, the Tusk Recon is going to find it. I just can't recommend this rear tire enough. It works well for everything I do. You know, you might notice a slight decrease in braking power, but it's, it's, it's really uh, it's, it's really hard to tell. And on a side note, I just wanted to thank everybody for uh, checking out my videos. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, I'll continue to make more. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys like it. Thanks for watching. And on that note, uh, I think that's about all I got for this one. So, till next time, I'm out of here. Lots of slow technical riding today, which is something I am just not very good at. Like I said, it's good for me to get out and do this stuff because I don't ever practice it. And I'm finding a lot of new stuff that I didn't know existed, so that's pretty fun.
Tom the hard way. <laughs> I'll take these, you right? <laughs> 